Hi, friends. Hello. Hey. Um, my name is Bob, and I'm the Dungeon Master, and uh, this is the Team of Annihilation stream from the Dad Bod D&D, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started right now. Um, Let's, let's talk about where we last left off, which was you guys had reached it to Kabazan's shrine, and you fought the mm -hmm. frog hemoth, and you almost TPK'd. No. You, I mean, I was fine. You probably I had a, it good. felt a little TPK-ish. I didn't get touched. Maybe because I got swallowed by a frog. It your your two TPK. tanks were down. I was not down. I never got hit. I was never hit. You're not a tank. I have pretty high AC. <clears throat> Slater. I do I do wanna <laughs> I do wanna highlight the the moment of Vinny almost getting his arm cut off. I was listening to that one today on my drive home, just recapping, and it was pretty tense. I I love I loved revisiting that moment, hearing you like that moment. I could tell in your voice where you're like, "Okay, this is it. Fuck it, we got to do it." Because we failed, I think like nine plus investigation checks, like between us. We it was just a lot. yeah. There's no way you were getting out of there, uh, but the thunder wave saved the day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I told everybody to jump like rabbits. They didn't want to listen. <laughs> that is true. You. Did. you you were jumping like rabbits in the temple room, mm -hmm. and then we brought it up to Vinny, and if you would have jumped, your arm would have came out. Yep. You gotta listen. Yeah, but now I'm also minus a crossbow arm. So, <laughs> did I really win that one? Uh, yeah, that would have been pretty cool, trying to figure that out. Yeah. Mm, it it wouldn't have worked very well. In the middle of a jungle with no yeah. healers or hospitals or doctors or clerics. I well, have druid craft, dude. I mean, if if a certain party member didn't leave, you would have a healer. <laughs> I, I am blaming homecoming. I wanted to be there. Instead, I had to make churros that didn't really turn out that well anyway. They were probably like little turds. Doughy. Doughy <laughs> little dough turds. turds. All right, Dirt so does. we're, we're <laughs> losing people fast, guys. Let's uh, let's get this back on track. So you guys finished the Shrine of Ijin, where you found your first puzzle cube. You made it all the way through. You found a nice little chewingo that um, gave you the old script to old Umamin. Um, Amuin. Sounds more right. Amuian. Amuian. Um, and then Amuiz. you fought a frog hemoth. And here we are. You are at the gates. Devin, I believe you actually took the stone key out of the frog's mouth. Yes, I did. And I have it in my pocket. And you are saved by what you believe is Artist Simber and uh, Dragon Bait. I think we immediately Action. left off when Dragon Bait did say he was Dragon Bait, and then we were introduced to Artist Simber, and Binks had said that we've we've been searching for you for a long time, or at least I have, since I've set foot seemingly on uh, on Troll. <laughs> That's right. That was your first real clue. Yeah. Why, um, why were you searching for him? Because uh, he's a part, so the, just backstory, is a part of the Harpers, which was the first clue from Syndra to find mm -hmm. and, and to find the the thing that's causing the death curse. Okay. Yeah. So, one, I think we appreciate you guys coming in and and helping us with this. Uh, two, we have been looking for you for a long time, and uh, Syndra. Uh, my benefactor gave us a lead and your name came up. Hmm. Well, hopefully we're on the same path then. Well, our right now our path is to figure out what's going on when the soulmonger and why people are dying and, and not coming back the way they should. Then you guys are in luck because I am here doing the same thing. And he reaches down and grabs 
you know, Izaka up out of the water. Um, Dragon bait slowly walks over and, and kind of hops across the stones a little bit and uh, hops up here too. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of I'll take Q and and come up and and climb up those steps right next to him and and hold out my hand like a, the eager elvish boy. Uh, finally, you know this mythical creature we have found in the artist and burn. Like it is, it is nice to see you and and finally meet you and and kind of. Uh, this is, I think this is a win for, for the group. We've had a lot of setbacks, and, and finally meeting you is a, is a good thing. He holds out his hand like, like this. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, is he really doing that? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I would, because he's been built up so much, I would... Can, just a quick... As you, as you grab me, he, pulled, <laughs> he just pulls <laughs> it back real quick. He's like, I'm t- oh, boy, I'm just kidding. Okay. But... But Sorry, what are I, you what are you all doing here? Well, we were sent here by uh, who was the 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 woman we met on the heart above Tau? <coughs> Valindra, Shadow Mantle. Um, we met a a woman um, when we visited. We were sightseeing, took a little detour, visited the heart of Uptown. We met. Uh, Valindra and she had said something about the nine keys of the gods of Omu and that's kind of the next lead we got so that's what we're here for and all at this point I'll pull out the the cube of the in engine am it, I saying I would right? say I would say Igen it's a, it's a hard Igen. eye hard eye it sounds, Igen. sounds a little bit better um, and as you pull it out he's gonna be like boy what are you doing not, no. not out here. I'll quickly put it back. Oh, I. These are didn't, didn't being know. searched for by more than just the present company. Uh, is are are we right in thinking that this is one of the nine? And he slowly comes over and he kind of like almost like a guy selling watches on the street. He pulls you know pulls out his bag and he shows you that he currently has a few in his bag as well. How many total can I see in there? Oh, uh, you get a quick look and there's four. So you have four. We have one. That makes us even. We have how many more? That's four more to go. That's it does pop math. Of, depth of math, yeah. boy. My yeah, my mom always taught math was always the first lesson of the day. So who all is here with you? What what are your names? You obviously know mine and my associates here. I'm Willow. You can call me Will. Will. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. I am I am waiting in the water to get over there. Um, <laughs> like slowly, um, like. Yeah. Or like trudging through the muck. I didn't like jump on any of the stones or anything. Uh, names names Vinny. Oh, hello. I'm I'm Artis. Nice to meet you. And Victon will come out of the the water. He'll kind of climb up the side, and the name the name's Victon. Well, see, uh, I mean, you're kind of around here, and he hits Dragon Bay a little bit. <laughs> Am I right? Is is Dragon Bay Dragonborn? Um, yeah. Dragonborn, Dragonbred. Born and bred. Born and bred dragon. Yes. So, uh, so would, uh, I assume you guys know what's in here, right? Uh, I, I think we assume it's another temple with one of these cubes. <clears throat> well, let's, uh, let's get to it. I mean, we're wasting daylight. And about this so, time, if you remember, it's about two thirty, three o'clock in the afternoon. So, what do you know about these temples? The one we went into uh, was a lot of like <clears throat> puzzle solving. Um, but we knocked it out of park. A great job, but ran into no problems. But um, do you know any? What about the four that you found? What were, what were the dungeons like? Oh, yeah, they were all just, the t- temple. They were all just awful, but. 
let's get out of the the open public here and uh, maybe we can talk about it inside this here a little bit because you don't you never know who's peering around. Yeah, that's probably okay. a good idea. Uh, Vinny, did you you got that key from the pond there from the mouth? And yeah, I got it, and I'll uh, I'll throw it to Binks. Oh, catch it quickly. <laughs> Make a dexterity check. <laughs> Just straight and it's, dex. And it's broken. Oh, natural 20. Yeah, you just like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fast. Um, I feel like so we are in Fast and the Furious with these sound yeah. effects. I'll close the window. <laughs> Sorry. Live on Main Street, you know? All right. Um, All them so I'll walk up to the door and I want to check this, like, look at the key, look at the hole. Did they match? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's you kind of look at it and you're looking at the ends and looking in the hole. Then you just put it in. And then I check for, you know, are there any traps, any weird things about the door itself that... Uh, you can give me an investigation check. I will. If you're looking for traps. Yeah. Uh, that's a 12. Uh, nope, no traps. All right, yes. So I'll just stick the key in and give it a little jiggle. Okay. And as you jiggle the key... My hand explodes. The door is just kind of... And open up. Well, I, I think the we... Door farted. <laughs> the door tooted. Uh, I think I think we know what our next move is. I'll peek, peek my head in. Oh, and shit. this is what you see. So as you look into this chamber, it's uh, you see steps that descend to a ledge overlooking a pit of sharpened stakes. Mm. Um, an alcove on the far wall holds a pedestal with a stone cube resting on it. A relief carved into the back of the alcove shows a monstrous frog with tentacles, which you seem to have encountered in the pond in the front, which is a frog hemoth. Uh, fighting a crane. Wood beams radiate from the walls at floor height with four foot gaps between them. Carved frogs' heads extrude from the walls above the beams. Hmm. Now remind me, wasn't there um, an inscription either on the outside of the door or something about... Yeah. What was that take, again? Give what you take. Something like that. Because yeah, Victon used his Rosetta Stone on the outside before we made it to the pond, I believe. There it is. Uh, Cabazon urges us to tread without fear and to give back as much as we take. Oh, yeah, I wrote that down. I could have just looked. Without fear, give back as much as you take. <clears throat> without fear, give... So, I mean, the give what you take is kind of easy to figure out, right? Whatever we take out, we have to put something back in its place. But the yeah. tread without fear, I'm not seeing any water. So, from our two experiences with sanctuaries here and at the fort, uh, probably best if we don't overthink this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's let's try and let's try and put our our fourth grader caps on. Uh, so if I look in. Um, cause I'm seeing on the map that there's like some boards. Is there anything to them? Are they there or is that just flavor for the picture? The boards? No, they, they pour, like they extrude from the walls a couple feet. Tread without fear. The wooden beams radiate from the walls at floor height of the floor that you kind of walk this. So imagine this white here being being the floor and then below that's the pit okay the pit is it's a 3d6 so it's 30 feet down um, well just just the the if you were to fall straight into the pit and then those spikes would add a additional but how how high off the spikes are probably about five to ten feet okay. they're all different right. varying okay. lengths so the pit and is about 30 feet down, and the spikes are about 5 to 10 feet. Okay. And then those 
planks that come out are level with this white platform that yes. we stepped down onto? Okay. Yes. Um, what if those might be the treads, you know, like treads of a, a stair? I have we one. Walk. I could cast a uh, spider climb, the same thing I cast on Vinny, on one of you guys. What's the ceiling look like? It's just a uh, straight ceiling. So, uh, yeah, we could probably... And then as I'm looking across, I'm assuming that square is another cube? Yep. It's just like on the pedestal you saw before. So, yeah, I, I mean, we can do the easiest thing, I think, and that's just climb on the ceiling and down and get out of there. Or climb around the outside where there's less spikes. It's worth a shot. Um, Who I, am I casting? I, I will not be volunteering for this as I'm <laughs> feeling really fucking rough right now, boys and girls. Oh yeah, so, that's right. You, uh, I, I guess I volunteer. I'm, I'm feeling okay. I, so I can either cast Good Berry and give you Berry, or I can uh, cast Spider Climb. But that's it. That's all. I'll take. Ooh, I'll take another. Spell slot? I'll that's take a. Cool. I'll yeah, take a regular out. healing potion out of my pouch and hand it to Vinny. Oh, I'd, I'd stocked up. Thanks, oh, boy. Thanks, thanks, man. And that's just a regular. Uh, that's 1d4 plus 2 for a regular. Uh, 2d4 plus 2. That's the one thing I can never remember. Potions are literally the worst. Four, six, seven, eight. All right, eight points. Uh, yeah, that's just a little better. <laughs> I mean, I have... I'm still bleeding all over the place. I have more, but I no. I feel like we, we might want to save them. Yeah, let's conserve them. We're going to have a... We're going to have to rest up pretty soon. I can patch myself up. Um... So as I'm looking at those planks around the outside, do they look sturdy? Do they look uh, like they could hold you, some you weight? You can reach out and touch one. Yeah, so I, I, I want to make sure it's safe first and then okay. kind of So you touch hand, it. foot? Maybe. maybe I'll take my short sword out and kind of just poke it a little bit, see if it's got any dry rot or... Right or left? Uh, Let's go to the right. Okay, so as you kind of poke the one on the right, seems like it's pretty solid. It doesn't. It doesn't like. It just. Okay. Um, like, how much pressure are you putting on it? I'm. I'm pushing it with my sword. A couple pounds to, worth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as you push it, the first time, then the moment you release it, the beam retracts. Starts to go in. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, so yeah, if that's gonna do it, all the way, that's not good. Like if everyone you step on and put pressure on. Yeah, you I'm, I'm thinking spider climb. Alright, am I casting it on you or on uh Ember I... Fart? <laughs> Excuse me, what was that? <laughs> Ember Fart. Uh that's art art artist? I I are, are Oh you... artist! I mean, I'll take, I'll do it. I think, okay. you know, we're we need to, and I'll I'll kind of whisper this to uh, Vinny and Willow next to us. Um, I think we need just a little more leverage here, maybe a couple more stones on our on our end. So, so I think it should be one of us. Yeah. So being slightly impartial, do we really trust this guy? Well. I mean, I, kind of going off of a name. At the moment, we're it. kind of at the mercy, but we've heard nothing but good things when we were in Port Nainzaru about the Harper organization. Okay. I have no idea who he is. He's, he's. I think he's a. I think he's on our side. But let's. I. I think we should get this and then maybe this is all campfire talk you know like okay all right. um, so I'm gonna cast spider climb okay. but at third level which doesn't do anything it's just my only slot left oh shit okay so speed climbing speed equal to my walking speed I can go upside down along ceilings while leaving its hands free it, you can just okay. walk on your like okay 
Um, could I do that like horizontally around the edge? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know if gravity's like pulling the rest of my body down or. No, it, it's how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna go, and I want to be like two or three feet above the planks, and I want to go from the right, and and try to go around the uh, the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Okay. <laughs> Two trailer park girls. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you uh, maybe a little unsure as you take that first step out. Yeah, and it just gingerly sticks, on the first feet. And then you're able to walk, and you walk all the way around the side of the room. As as I get to the corner, and I'm I'm heading up the uh, the side there, I look back at Willow going, "This is awesome." Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. And what is everybody else doing? I'm just watching him. I'm probably sitting down outside. I'm probably keeping an eye on an artist Simper and, and uh, Dragon Bait. So, Willow, you're probably here watching. You guys are here, Binks. Yeah. Yeah. What's Victon doing? Uh, he's probably, like, pulling out some seaweed and, and lily pads out of his armor and just kind of shaking out, getting In or out. Get cleaned up a little bit. He's He's out. He would be so out. he's probably you guys like yeah. sitting sitting on the uh, side with your feet dangling. Maybe. Yeah, maybe maybe checking out Dragon Bay. Is do is he a dragonborn? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So and he'd probably start exchanging some pleasantries uh, with him. I don't know dragonborn lore. Is he older looking? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You look like. Uh, You've been around quite a while. Yeah, yes, yes, I have. You're an old uh, man? <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm an old dragon, but... Oh. Yes, I'm, I'm very, very old. Okay, uh, we'll go back to you, Binks. What, uh, yeah. How is that working? What are you doing? So as I get close, I, I want to do a closer inspection of, like, the landing platform and the cube itself. Okay, so as the landing platform, it's probably got about two feet all the way around. Uh, that sits 30 feet above the pit. So same same level as the yeah. uh, right across. Um, and then it's a pedestal that sits there, kind of like the first one. And the cube just sits atop the puzzle. Any beam of light coming down or no? <laughs> no, no beam. Okay. Anything behind it in that little alcove? Uh, just the relief of the frog hemoth fighting okay. the crane. Okay. You said the frog hemoth fighting a crane? Yeah, yes. Okay. Like a Tread bird crane, here. not a right, right, mechanical right. crane. Time traveling frog hemoth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tread without fear. And I'm saying these words as I'm kind of getting closer. Tread without fear. Uh, give as much as you take. Tread without fear. Give as much as you take. And I'll put my first foot down around the platform and then my second foot. And um, I really want to, because Binks is thinking that we got to replace it with something of equal weight. So I really want to look and see if there's any kind of pressure played, any... Uh, give me an uh, investigation check. That's a 16. Um, you get the idea that this is sitting on a pedestal like before, but you can't find any mechanisms that would be a pressure plate. And as you step onto the platform, um, it does like it doesn't move. It's pretty solid. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take the other stone out of my bag and hold it in one hand. And then I want to take one of my water skins out in my other hand and try to match the weight. Okay. Give me a straight intelligence check. Oh, third. That's a four. You do your best to try and match. <laughs> um, you 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 sit there for a while. You get the feeling that yeah, these are pretty good. Okay. Hey, hey Victon, what are we going to do if this doesn't work? Do we run without being? <laughs> <laughs> are you saying that to Victon or Vinny? Victon. <laughs> Great. I have to, I have to be. Uh, uh, um, we will not be not, running, is what Nari chimes in. Yeah, we we're not leaving. How are we gonna get to him if this goes wrong? We'll 
We always figure out a way. But we're not okay. leaving things. Well, okay. <laughs> That's what Victon would say. <laughs> uh, so, if we're going back to me... Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're... Okay, Binks. I, he, he'll put the other cube back, and he's got the he's got the, uh, the the water bladder that is the exact weight of the cube, and uh, he's uh, give as much as you take, I guess. So he's gonna take the cube off and at the same time put the water bladder in its place. It can't be this easy, guys. Huh? Okay. So as you pull the cube off and put the water skin you misjudge the weight and <laughs> yeah. water skin sinks and just goes and a plate comes over the top doors the stone doors slam shut just <laughs> so oh God. Willow that we came in on yes Willow and Binks you are in this chamber and out of some of the frogs heads that are on the wood that you saw earlier you start to see this green, just gas pop out. Fuck it. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, uh. So everybody, well, sorry, Willow and uh, Binks, give me a Constitution check, please. Save, please. Yeah, what I'm good at. <clears throat> Not so good. Uh, I have a plus five, and I rolled <laughs> a four. I have a nineteen. Rolled a nine. Okay. Wait, so, yeah, rolled a nine. So as you guys just feel this, even though you're, you're trying to, you see and you <gasps> hold your breath, you just feel it come into your nose and into your eyes and into like every pore in your body. And you take uh, 14 points of poison damage. And then slowly after about a minute or so, the cloud dissipates. No more is pumping in from the frogs. But the door's still shut. Uh Willow, Willow, you okay? Yeah, I... That didn't feel good, but I'm okay. Yeah, that didn't feel good either. Uh, I got I got the cube. I have the cube, right? Yeah, the cube is in okay, your so head. Put it in you my satchel. The cube, but we're stuck in this cube. Uh, it's ironic, I know. Um, can you... So I'm going to start walking back to her, and as I'm walking, I'm like, do you want to... Start banging on the door, see if, uh... Yeah, I'll start hitting the door and seeing if anybody can hear us, or... Yeah, like, can... let's go to the outside, so as they're banging and you guys hear the door slam shut. Oh, fuck. Uh, Vinny would probably jump up, run to the door, and see if, uh, if the key still worked. Vinny, can you hear me? Vinny! Vinny! So as... Yeah, barely, it's like an inaudible... <laughs> Um, but as you stick the key in and try and turn... Well, you don't have the Binks does, so... I thought he would have left it in the door, might be... What? What? I, I, I can't say if I would or if I wouldn't have. Uh, you look for the key, and you're like, oh, shit. Fuck. Uh, Fuck. See, maybe it's like the, the other stone doors. Maybe there's a stone... Like a... I don't know, pressure plate or something that'll uh, open the door. Stick your arm in the hole, Vinny. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, v Victon, uh, Audis, come on. We got. We gotta get this door open. I think they're in trouble. Is Can there? Can I see if there's anything that might open the door from the inside? Give me a uh, investigation check. Investigation. Twelve for sixteen, right? Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't really see anything. Um, you're looking panicked, uh, not sure what's going to happen next. Um, but there's, these are, just like in the other one, solid stone doors, uh, that don't really have much give on there. And the plate went over the top of where the water skin was put. Like, we couldn't put the, the key back on there. Correct. So it, it like, as you put it in, it slowly sunk, and then it played over the top. Oh, so we can't can't attempt to like add more weight to it. Um, There's no holes in the ceiling or anything for light or. Anything? Uh nope. It's pretty blocked off. 
and Fun. there's there's not enough a big enough gap around the door for me to slide the key under. No, it's a pretty pretty thick stone key. Huh. Um. I think I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spider climb down the pit and check down there. I I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, that yeah, are, so is the map true on where the spikes are, or is it like more populated than no, that? No, it's true where they are. Okay, so I, around the outside, underneath uh, the planks, it looks like it's kind of clear. Well, so this there's this here, that's walled down. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then the inner line here. Oh, I is, got you. It's a three kind of three yeah. D like. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Try it tries to be right. Yeah, I but get there, it. There's I, enough room for you to fit in, like, you know, yeah, men, like make your body fit okay. between them. So, so I'll find like the, the place where there's the most amount of room for me to kind of get down and settled, and then uh, look around, see if I can see any yeah, triggers down there. Give me an investigation check. Come on, man. Come on now, man. So, um, that's a, that's a one. <laughs> as you as you get down there, you start to see just you get a little bit closer. So you start to look <laughs> at the actual spikes, and you see maybe people have fallen on them and have essentially run it off. And you start to step on the floor, and it's just bones. <laughs> nice. Uh, and give me a wisdom save, Binks. Shit. Not good for me. Okay. Twenty-one. Polar opposites here. I know. Come on, man. Okay. Uh, I'm coming up. I'm not with the dead bodies down there. Can I start like if there's any like cre crevices in the door or anything? Just like beating at it with my hand axe to see if like any kind of pressure will open it. Yeah, go and make an attack. I don't know how to make an attack with this. Did that work? Yep. So 12, so you just hit it and just back, you know, and you start to look at it and it's stone. So you, you've literally cracked a hole like this, but not all the way through. And it's just slowly divoting the, the, the stone and maybe chipping just little bits away. But I'm just going to like panic, hit it like over and over and over again. Okay. So while she's doing that, what are the people on the outside doing? Um, I would probably be trying to... I'd probably be trying to get everybody to start uh, seeing if we could find any anywhere we could get a hole in this door to try and pull it open. Um, so where you're looking at the door, there's no real like hand grips. Uh, it's pretty tight, so you couldn't even fit the key through any of those holes. Can I go around the building and see if I see anything that might be worth looking at into? Uh, yeah, give me an investigation check. Okay. All right, the investigation is a... 14. 14. You quickly search all the way around this building, and you do not find anything that's, that you feel would help. I mean, you find some rocks, you find a couple twigs. Nothing that's going to help you. Um, if I have time before we jump back... I'd like to maybe jump back into the center of the marsh or the pool and see if there's anything in the the face now, like maybe keys reappeared or okay. anything like that. Yeah, give me a give me a investigation check. I mean, if you're just looking into the face, no, nothing's appeared there. If you're looking into the marsh, investigation check. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of look all around see if there's anything like maybe. Um, you know, if I even I would I dive under the water to see if there are like any maybe any holes or something that could get me in there. Okay, that's uh, a three. Yeah, it's too murky. Perfect. Too murky in the water. Just can't. We are it's horrible. perfect. And it's perfect. Constitution save, Binks and Willow, please. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, we're so fucked. Okay. Natural twenty. And I'm sorry, Willow. Your first Constitution save you passed, so you only took. Um, half of that damage. Total. Yeah, so you took six. Okay. Sorry if I... So, um, you both feel like you're a little bit more resilient to this poison, but you take 
six damage, so it was twelve. You halved. Both of you succeeded, but you uh, once again those frog breaths just spew that green mist all the way into mm-hmm. this room that you guys can't see. You can't like it gets so ah. foggy. Things I uh, can't die in here. I have to find my sister. Yeah, we're not we're not dying. I'm gonna go up on the ceiling now, just trying to get like a, a bird's eye view and make my way back over to the the pedestal. This is bad. And checking out this this alcove a little better. Okay, uh, give me an investigation check, please. Come on! (laughs) (laughs) Seven. Um, Panicked and completely scared, you are pushing onto that plate. You're trying to block the pedestal. Uh, This thing is so tight. Um, And, I mean, at this point, Artis is like, Maybe, maybe I have some that might help, um, but get away from the door. Is he I saying mean, that loud enough for we... Willow? Yeah, get get away from the door. Uh, in there. I'm all over. I'm all oh, okay. Uh, where do I, do I can't get away from the door? <laughs> Binks, help me down. Uh, I'll will come back real quick and I'll. I guess I'll I'll. <laughs> how how big are you? Like. Like. I don't know, like 120 pounds? Okay. Like I'm, five to you? Yeah. I'll strain. Yeah, give me a strength check as you're going down. <laughs> uh, so are we go- going down the pit, or can I just, like, That's the only shimmy, way out of the door. shimmy along the wall? Either or. I, yeah, I want to just shimmy along the wall. <laughs> strength check? Yeah. Don't drop me. Don't drop me. Okay. So Please. you just piggyback. <laughs> what? Piggyback and you're just walking like, oh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, and don't so I'm engaging, me. engaging the core the whole time. So for <laughs> those that are on the outside, you see artist kind of just put his hand on on the door, and it this this cold and this frost just spreads from the the point he's touching all the way to the top, and he just keeps it there for a while, and then the entire door just is a frozen chunk and he kind of he whistles over to dragon bait and you see dragon bait come up with his giant axe bam and the door just crumbles uh victim's like you guys are pretty good team well we can't we can't do that very often so and you never saw this from me understand yeah thanks bring me back and put me down before you drop me did you just yeah. say we never saw this from you? Are, are you... Okay, so as they're coming out, I'm... Yeah, well, so we're... Strength, yeah, we're strength check to get back. I mean, we're not just right. insta-walking here. Come on. Yeah, I... No, I, I just... I have something to say to him af- as they're coming out. Yeah, so, so strength... <laughs> Eleven. Eleven? Okay, so give me a strength save. Me? Yeah. Thanks! Binks. Oh, good lord. Binks, <laughs> Okay. You guys are dead AF. So, as you're walking, you lose grip. And, uh, Willow, you fall into one of the boards. Oh, and as can you I fall, hurry up and stand up knowing they go in? As you fall into the board, your, your weight hits it, and it doesn't move. So you carefully stand up, still in place. Thanks. And, and to be clear, yeah. we wouldn't have gone like too far. Yeah, I, I would I'd have put you. Up. I put you like right here. Yeah, I would have been. Yeah, around the corner. Yeah, you're not. Uh, you're not like all the way across the. Thing. Okay, so am I? On, I'm on the platform. Yep. And she's just one or two planks over. Yes, correct. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Sorry. 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 Uh, could have been worse. Uh, can you just step on the? The rest of the planks and yeah. come here. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna try. Okay. So as you step your weight onto the other plank, and the weight of the one you were on comes off, it retracts, and so now you're onto the one plank, and then you walk, step one more onto the platform, and then that one retracts, and so they are oh. no longer there. Well, I didn't need you anyways, Binks. <laughs> I walk out. Sorry. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Whatever, we got the cube, and we didn't die. So, coming out. 
We're com coming out. And what, what were you wanting to say, Vinny? So, uh, I believe I heard artists say, you never saw me do this. Yes. And I'm going to look at him and say, Ex excuse me, are you trying to hide the fact that, that you're a high-level magic user? Well, I mean, it's not the magic that I use, but the way I use the magic. How about that? Who are you trying to hide it from? There's no one here. Well, I... You know, I, I feel your intentions are true, but, I mean, this that I do have is not for the faint of heart. Okay. Um, so, I mean, fill me in here, man. We want to work together. What's going on? We... I mean, I feel like we could... We've got two of them. You've got four of them. We're gonna have to work together, or we're gonna have to kill each other. Um, well, I hope, I hope it doesn't come to that, because... You know, we are all on the same path. And I think if we were to just, you know... Maybe find a place to talk, I can I can share a little bit more. But where we're oh, at right now is that, not safe. Fair enough. Fair? Fa fair enough. Fair enough. Um... Perhaps, I mean, I'm, I'm still feeling really bad. Maybe we need to make camp and and find some more safe and spend the night. Uh, yeah, I think we're all kind of stressed out and bloody and wet. And, and I think we could sit around a fire and get to know each other a little bit and kind of get our goals aligned. And being <laughs> trying to play the diplomat here. And All right. Have you got anywhere safe around here? That you found? Well, I mean, we could make it to the next shrine and just camp there, right? That's a good idea. Um, I mean, fing fingers crossed that nothing comes out and jumps on us. Yeah, maybe maybe a little bit away from it, because there's either going to be some kind of frog protecting it, or, like you said, other adventurers coming in. I'd hate to run into them I don't somewhere somewhere safe okay he's like well you know we've we've done a pretty good job clearing it out we've been top to bottom in this place and uh, the next one is do you guys do you guys got any kind of map of this place or are you just you know eyeballing this we're just we're waiting kinda, in well yep. alright let's head back across this main thoroughfare and then it's nestled down to the right a little bit and okay. I mean, so essentially, it's going to be in that area. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys travel pretty, you know, uneventfully um, to the area. So it's probably about four or five now in the evening, and it's still pretty light out. Hasn't been a full day. But you find a very circular building. I am not going into that building. I'm not getting poisoned by going into that building. I'm not getting spiked by going into that building. I'm not drowning going in that building. Okay, so as you approach this, it, it's a ruined shrine, so the top is all craggly and crumbly. It's probably still a good 20 feet tall, so the top at the 20 feet is pretty pretty wrecked. Um, and then at the very front it are two monoliths that flank each side of this entrance. Um, and decorated on the monolith are two jaguars with six snakes sprouting from its shoulders. And a stone door is set into the shrine beyond. And as you guys approach this front, you find a familiar face. One mm. Zell's tree raver sitting underneath a tree. Uh... Vin. Well, hello, everybody. It's been what? a long time. Everybody so, blame me for leaving. Where did you go? I had some introspection to make. After all, the goal of the soulmonger is to... to bring the, the dead back, like, like my wife. But that also means that we could bring, bring back my brother. And so I had to decide if that's if that's something worth doing. 
Well, I, 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 I think if you ask us, it is. But and I, that's why I had some introspection to make because apparently y'all got to know him on a very different level than I ever did. Yeah, and we're all kind of getting to know each other pretty well, and running off is something that can't happen. I, I mean, this, this is I mean, weird. We're, we're all. I mean, look, I'm the least reliable person here. And you can't do you can't do that. I mean, we're we're relying on each other to get through this. Uh, you wanted to join up with us, right? That's that's why you're here, right? Yes, and I had to decide whether the potential that my murderous scum of a brother coming back, who many times I saw seconds away from killing innocent people was worth potentially coming back. So I had to do a little bit of soul searching. But I'm here now and I I think there's enough good in the world to balance his evil out. So so what did you did you bring him back? Well, no, the dead can't come back. That's what our goal is. Unless a lot of things happened while I was gone. Well, yeah, we made some progress. Um, we found Artis here in uh, Hello. Dragon Bait. And now between the two of us, we have six of the nine puzzle pieces. The nine keys. So, yeah, we've made some progress. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm glad to see you back. Right. We, yeah, we can't go we need, any we need all the further help without you. Yeah. Yes, we need all the help we can get. You know, speaking of which, y'all look terrible. Were you going to bunker down for a bit, or were you going to go inside this temple? I I think we're resting for the night. Well, looking at you, that's probably a wise decision. I'll, I'll take the watches so you guys can take it easy, because it looks like you need it. Yes, I do, at least. Uh, Victon would chime in and go, oh, yeah, I need I need to sleep. Be good. <laughs> I, well, I think it's settled then. Just, Let's, uh, should we try and go in and settle in there, or do we want to do it out here? Uh, well, do we, do, do you know, do you know anything about this temple? I mean, most temples are I say we stay pretty the dangerous. Outside. I think so. Cell Street kind of has a good spot here started just yeah. join I don't want to go inside there not yet yeah it's fair who knows who knows what we'll find fair 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 enough so uh, let's go fetch some sticks get a fire going you all got dinner or uh, uh, yeah I mean I've got some I've got some some rations <laughs> Okay, so over the next 20 minutes, um, you know, Artis and Dragon Bait kind of walk around the building, uh, grabbing some dead sticks that have been lying on the ground. Oh, I was just going to say, I just opened up Victon's character sheet, and he has five hit points, so he's definitely, like, just sitting down, <laughs> uh, doing absolutely nothing, kind of <laughs> licking his wounds. Vinny's probably taking whatever rations he can grind together. Um... Would there have been anything worth eating on the frog hemoth? Yeah, I mean, if you like frog. Okay, so I yeah. probably would. I probably would have tried to carve up some of the frog if I had time. Well, you didn't. Okay, never mind. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I I have some rations left, just not much. Okay. Well, I I think we can make do with what what we all have. I mean, I guess to each their own, right? Um. Yeah, Vinny, it's a it's a shame we used your jug for that oil. Use a drink right now. Says Banks, the alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll take out the jug. I uh, wish for a good amount of beer, and I'll throw it to throw it to. I think, yeah, I think you guys have a little bit left. You didn't use all the 
oil from it. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know if it had multiple uses. Yeah, it's like day. you can use okay. up until okay. the you know. Okay. I mean, it's it's not as full as normal, but enough to take an edge off, I think. And I'll take a little little swig and pass it to Victon because he's he's looking pretty shitty. Victon, you you should drink. Have at least a little bit. Kind of numb that pain. And he'll t he'll take a drink and then pass it to whoever seems interested. I'll take it, Victon. There, there you go. So after fire is set and everybody's kind of settled in, um, who wants to take or conversation time? Would yes. Be fair? Yes. So, um, Mr. Simba, uh, you were gonna you were gonna tell us a little more about. Whatever's special about your magic, and why you don't want people to know you can do it. Well, I, I think we should talk about what we have at hand first. Let's talk about our combined puzzle cubes. So he pulls out I, his. I, I mean, out his no, no disrespect to you. I feel like you're avoiding my questions. Well, I mean, in all due good time. I want. I just want to make sure that. And we're all on the up and up here, so let's start with the easy task first, right? So he pulls out his four. Uh, all right. So with those, those four, and we have these two. We have with our powers combined. <laughs> the, with our got, powers combined. We've got the cute little bunny, and we've got the nasty-looking frog. Okay. Which what four do you have? He pulls out the. He said that this one is Unk, which the relief on it looks like a flail snail. Oh, I, I, I shudder. I shudder a little bit. That was, uh. That's when I got a couple people in our party killed well, by flail snails. How, how, did, how did you do that? I mean, did you attack them? Uh, I fell. I fell down a hill, and party members that are no longer with us came to rescue me, and I made it out, and they did not. That hardly sounds like your fault, but yeah, precisely. I've told them that before. The way I'm, I feel about it is, <clears throat> they took their lives into their own hands the minute they came down there for you. Well, I mean, I, I, I probably would, I, I probably wouldn't have left him, but I mean, I feel guilt. Uh, so he pulls out the second one, which is Wongo, a relief of a monkey. Pulls out. Is it, is it a flying monkey or just a regular? monkey? It's just a regular monkey. Cha, flying monkeys might come out of my butt. <laughs> Cha. Um, he pulls out the third one. And he says, this one is Pop's, Papa Zoro. Papa Shijo. Papa Shijo. Uh, and it's the picture of a crane, which appears to be the same crane that was fighting in the last shrine. And what was that, the name of that one? Papa Joto. I'll, I'll put it in chat for y'all. Preach. Papa Zoto. Um. Papa Zoto, that sounds more right. It's like a Quetzalcoatl, but Papazotl. Quetzalcoatl, Papazotl. Okay. Got tamales. Pulls out the fourth one, which is a Grung. This one here is Nang Nang. Oh, we know Nang Nang. Well, how? I mean, you met a dead trickster god. Let's deal with the easy stuff first, as someone once said. Touche. So what what two do you two do you guys got? Uh, we've got the Ijin and it's a little cute little bunny. And then we have this this one that we just grabbed, the frog hemoth. Or the this huge frog thing. Uh, we thought <sighs> it might have been a grung, but it looks like you have the grung. So he kind of goes off his list, he's like, Okay, so we got what three left now? Mo we know that Moa is one of them. 
So we got Moas, we got Shag Shagambis, and we got Obalakas. <laughs> she <laughs> Stop. He's <laughs> like she Malakas, Dino. Uh, <laughs> weird science. <laughs> yeah. All right. I knew, I understood that reference. Shagambi. Shigambi. So here it looks like we're at Sh Shigambi's. Um, and he kind of he pulls out a quick map of Omu. Not like it's not charted very well. Not like as fine detail as this is. But so he's going to mark on here where uh, he saw the other ones. Uh, no, thanks. Don't do that. So up here was Papa Zottles. Oh, more water. Over here was Nang Nangs. Up. Are you are you pinging them? Or, okay, there, there. There's no, numbers. I'm not. Uh, up here was uh, Wongos. Oh, sweet. So we don't have to go to the water. And then this is this is the last one we got. This was uh, this was Unks. So we found, we think we found the other three. So here's Shigambi's, where we're at now, and he points to the map right here. Mm -hmm. And that's please the Jaguar. Please, that, please don't say the one on the Lava Island. Please don't say the Lava Island. <laughs> Out here on this Fucking hell. little island is Moa's, which I've yet to figure out how to get out there. And then the last, we save this one for last because we think the entrance to everything is going to be up in this area. This is where we've had the highest concentration of UNTs. Is that number eight? Number 19. Oh, 19, okay. So uh, number eight is done. 18 you, you, is done. UNT. And vi yeah, victim would pop in and go, those are the, the snake people. Destroyed my village. Well, I mean, yes, they have inhabited this place. I mean, it's a wretched, wretched story, right? But they've inhabited this place since the fall of Omo. And I imagine, you know, they're going to be guarding whatever's here pretty good. Pretty, pretty cool. I don't know that we should go near them. I watched them pitch. I understand your concern, but if we're going to fix whatever's being caused here, that's our destination. Yeah. Well, I don't know if... Um, I can't remember if we ever told you, but, you know, we're, we're trying to solve... We're trying to bring back the ability to bring back the dead. So, you know, for Victon's tribe and for the people that took you in, you know, this might be their best shot at coming back. Well, I, I mean, I imagine those souls are just gone, right? Probably not a good chance of those that have died during this curse are coming back. Thank you. I Thank you. That. I appreciate your candor. We can we well, can have hope. We're, we're all adults here, and, you know, if we don't live with the facts that we have... I am not an adult. Um, and so, I cling, I, I mean, cling to hope. So all, I mean, all children, please cover your ears. Then, at this point, <laughs> Muffet. All I'm, all I'm saying is, we have a chance to do some good for the world, and we're the only ones who can do it. Nobody's come this close except for the people presently here. No, I, I, some have come close. They just haven't made it. And somehow the puzzles have been reset. You are, you are just a contradicting motherfucker. Well, I'm, I'm more of what we would call a realist, and if you can't come to terms with the gravity of the situation that we're in, maybe this job isn't up for you. Or maybe you're not up for this job. I think we're just... We're... Some people need information in different ways, and we're just trying to make sure that... We're all 
we're all just understanding and we're and like I said we can cling to hope sometimes and that's sometimes all you need if you want to be the realist and 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 think the way that you do that's fine but we've made it out here <coughs> I, as far as we have and we're we're okay with the way that we think why are you guys searching for all of this like what why i'm 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 tired of living in squalor i'm tired of living on the streets and and not having anything and this was the first thing in my life that kind of showed promise um, if i can if i can come out of this alive I'll know my 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 life has some sort of meaning and I can I can accomplish the things that I need to do. And uh were you asking like the whole party or were you asking like artists and dragon bait? The whole party. Um you know I can't really say why I'm here. Um, I figured it would be a chance to pick up some gold. Uh, and I don't know why I haven't left. But I haven't, and I'm still here. Um, so how about you, Mr. Simbo? Why are you out here? Well, um, the organization that I work for, which you are seemingly aware of, the Harpers, the Harper, yeah. they, um, say that they're the balance in, in this plane. So when the, the scales are tipped either way, they step in. Scales are tipped one way right now, as you can see. And we're here to write that. And not many of us have made it further than we are. So yes, you're right. But how do you think I have all of this information? That's a good question. So, we do have a, you know, same end goal in mind. And I th I, I but isn't there only one thing? Isn't there only one key? Who takes the key? Or stone or whatever you guys are searching for? Well, we don't know yet. So, these nine keys that we're finding, these cubes... Just like every other way to get each cube seemed to be a puzzle. We haven't figured the puzzle out yet. But it does sound like we're on the same path. And I, I, I think, like so many other things and people that have come in, we have to have a little bit of faith in each other that will we'll work towards and for each other to, to accomplish this task. We're all here for whatever reason. We're all deep in this now, and there's really no turning back. We are in the heart of Omu. And I, I would have to question your being as, as a person on this planet if you turn back and, and stop this journey now. And I'll kind of, like, catch eyes with, with Zelstri a little bit. And not, not like, staring and, and, and staring her down, but just kind of a quick glance and then turn away and then and then just kind of, I'm going to sit back down and well like you said we're in it together and I think anybody here at this point we, we're going to make it and uh, Azaka's like you, you guys know me I'm in it till the end so <laughs> it's uh Let's just finish this. Um, Artis, I don't, I don't think you've met officially uh, Moak Sanare here, but she is in line to become the new ruler of Omu once it is freed of oh, this yeah. curse. I didn't know we were in royalty. I mean, you didn't, uh, you didn't say that when we were talking outside the temple back there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. This is gonna be uh This is gonna be all mine. I mean, so don't try and ruin it too much. Yeah, she's 
Vinny's gonna roll his eyes. <laughs> well, I, yeah, Binks has no idea what to say. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I see you, you. You got yourself a maybe a future king there. Is that right? And he kind of looks at you, Binks. I don't. I. I don't think I could. You I just see Nari's. Awkward. You just see Nari's awkward. face drop and like, <laughs> what? Oh, rejected. Um, I, is it? And she point, have a, she points yo. to Willow. Is it her? <laughs> uh, no, I just I have a hard time thinking that far ahead. Where I'm focusing on this temple, and then the next temple, and we'll we'll see when we get there. It's uh well I already know your answer. <laughs> Definitely maybe. Definitely maybe. So big big answer from you now, Mr. uh Vinny. I didn't catch your last name. Uh blood good. Where does that hail from? Uh, I'm from across the ocean, Fagrim. Been there a few times. So, uh, I can't remember the question I was going to ask you. Did you have one for me? No. I think we've come to an understanding. Fair enough. Okay. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Not me. So when I was little, people used to tell stories around fire. So I'm wondering if maybe, like, maybe Vinny, could you tell a story? No offense. Um, you won't like any of my stories. Fine. Be a, be a campfire pooper then. And as he says that, as he says that, he's going to, he's going to, uh, He's got a, a, a bad eye, and it kind of waters. He's going to kind of wipe the water out of his eye. And no offense again, but um, I'm, I'm very tired, and uh, you don't... You can... If you want to know my stories, you can ask uh, Big Chef. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to get some sleep. And Binks, can you tell, can you tell Campfire stories? Uh, I mean... No, I can... What the fuck? I, 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 I remember when we met Vinny for the first time and we saved him from a couple uh, bandits in the, in the jungles of Cholt. That was... All right, Nari. You have to know <laughs> stories about princesses and... Um, I mean, Zelstri seems to be a little bit of a, of a talker. Zelstri, do you know a camp... Fire story. How about a campfire song, Zelstri? Oh, Zelstri can't sing. <laughs> Maybe you. Um, Just a little tune. There's, I know two types of stories. I've got the kind where I came from, and the kind that brought me to the surface. Okay, I've you're gonna give the, me nightmares. Prob <laughs> probably. I'm just gonna go make like a bed somewhere. I, yeah. So, sorry, Willow. It's just I think we're all so broken. I don't. I don't have any good stories. Or marshmallows. What, or marshmallows. Well, what about you? Why don't you tell us a story? I don't know any stories. That's why I asked you. Well, you said people in your place tell stories, so you have to know one. Okay, so once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a princess who was much nicer than Nari, and way more pretty. Oh, shots fired, huh? <laughs> and there was a prince that was much older than Beans. <laughs> who fought a dragon that was much scarier than Victon. 
I, I feel I feel like this story is just more insulting than a story. I feel like this oh, is just Rina. maybe you saying insults. Chesrina used to tell a story like this, except it wasn't a prince. It was a it was another princess that came to rescue her. Well, I mean, I'm cool with that, but I don't know. Tell a story then. Oh, my story is almost exactly the same, except they they go to the surface world and together worship the sun, and I have a crying baby in the background. Well, maybe at, maybe at this point we just we should we've all failed at this. Let's uh, hit the hay. I, okay. but resume these stories in the morning. Okay. I'll, have, I'll I'll think of one. I'll think of one that is not gonna put us in worse in a worse mood or I'm make thinking. us cry. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll tell, think of tell one. Tell me your dreams. And I'm that? gonna say to Victon. I'm gonna say I. Think it's good you're not as scary as the story dragon. Oh, thank you, but uh, I still, I still, I, I still am <laughs> pretty scary. And at that point, he'll Focus with whatever down. kind of he's got left, the little muster he's got left, he'll shoot some uh, of his lightning up into the air and oh. try to singe some leaves or something. Cool. I mean, okay. that's pretty so intense here. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna take a quick five-minute break. Uh, 5 to 10, so be back here about 10.20 central time and we will resume our adventure through the tomb of Annihilation. So as you guys kind of all settle in for the night, uh, first watch. Uh, I, I believe I believe Zelstry said they were going to take the yeah. he was just going to take the watch with. Well, I don't think we should take I, let the others take watch without one of us because they might steal our blocks. Yes. I well, agree. I don't think we should take watch without I mean, one of us. I'm gonna. I'll take the That's last. That's fine. I, I can two. take a watch with someone. Uh, I. Uh, Dragon bait. You up for this first one? Uh, yes, I will stay up for the first. Okay. So uh, it's Zelstri and Dragon bait. Please give me perception checks. Elves are naturally proficient in perception, aren't they? No. That's not a real thing. Okay, That's, I thought it was. You're lying. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I got I don't, a five. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. <laughs> Perception the, the is time. based off wisdom, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. The whole time, Zelstra is just up sharpening her short sword. In that case. Yeah. Really in this case, uh, Dragon Bait is watching Zelstra. <laughs> Like not creepy. not like creepy, just like I like you. Just like pretty mouth. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the same way. Dragon Bait's looking at you the same way Brett Kavanaugh looks at women. <laughs> I, sorry, I laughed at that. But it, <laughs> I I laughed because it's topical, not because it is of, disgusting. Topical Brett Kavanaugh humor. is disgusting. Sorry. Yes. Dave. So yes, sorry. Yes, this is our Let's bring escape. This back. Let's bring this, this back. This is our escape. Um, uh, I'm gonna look at him and I'm gonna say, "Didn't you hear her princess saves the princess story?" Uh, yes. I just don't want you you're, to steal you're my being, stuff. You're, you're being creepy. <laughs> I just don't want you to steal my stuff. I, I, I don't. I don't fancy your kind. Well, I fancy your kind, well, but... Well, I don't. I have a wife and some baby baby dragons back home. I don't know what dragonborn lanes are called. <laughs> Dragonlings? Dragonlings. Dragonlings. I mean... Younglings. Victon does fine around us. Well, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just watching my stuff. Okay. 
Don't be creepy. I don't steal my don't. stuff. Don't. Don't steal my nope. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I feel like this goes on for like the the entire Ow. night. <laughs> okay, uh, Willow, if you're staying up, give me a perception check as well. A perception. <clears throat> Yeah, you, 16. You, you, um, 17, you know, 16 for real. So you're like watching Dragon Beta of one eye and you're kind of keeping an eye on everything else that's going around. Um, Guys, I'm iguana. Don't they, can't they move their eyes? Yes. But <laughs> they, they can. <laughs> their eyes um, are stitched. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do hear some rumbling at the very back of the shrine, outside of the shrine. Picton, I think your tummy's growling. Mm. Sleeping. I'm sleeping. Oh. Sh- shut up. Sleeping. I'm tired. Does it sound like... Like... Is it loud or it, is it... It sounds like... Um, maybe some wood moving. Like somebody sneaking through the forest, kind of? No. It's pretty... It's pretty... Uh, contained to like one area... And it, I mean, on the map, it's like back this area. Gosh darn it! Back, back there. It's not like um, Who's it's just like with wrestling. Me? It's Zell Street and Dragon mm-hmm. Bait. Uh, do you hear that, Dragon Bait? Here, no. You don't, Zell Street. Do you do you hear that? Would you like me to make a check for it or? No, you don't hear it. I have a 18 passive perception. Passively, you're not hearing it. (laughs) (laughs) Fair. (laughs) Vinny, I think your stomach's growling. Uh, Oh. What? I can hear grumbling. (laughs) Just wake people up. (laughs) Your shit's growling. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm doing. (laughs) I really don't feel very good right now. I'm going back to sleep. We can go check it out, Willow, if you're feeling that. Are you going to leave me this time? No. <laughs> I, I have some feel... stuff to figure out. I'm back now. Are you going to find more stuff to figure out? I mean, out of game, maybe in a couple of weeks because <laughs> I have to do some <laughs> stuff. <laughs> All right, Zelstri. Not, not if... within the next hour or two. <laughs> If you leave me behind, I will cut your hair while you're sleeping. Wow. So don't leave me behind. That's fine. It gets in the way anyway. Let's go. Okay. Escalate it quickly. Okay. Um, so how are you doing this? And are you being quiet? Uh, yeah. Okay. So both yeah. Willow and Zelstree give me a stealth check. And Zell's tree, are you in heavy armor? Twelve. Nope, I'm in medium, I think. Okay. So with yep. a ten and a twelve, how do you want to go around? Zell tree, you go first, and I'll follow you, so you can't leave me. That that sounds reasonable. Left uh, or right? Let's let's go right. Okay, so the wall is about three to four feet tall. It's not terribly tall. You can look over it. So you're kind of sneaking around. Um, At one point, your sword that's sheathed uh, does hit the wall. And you hear tiny cubs go meow and kind of poke out from underneath this cart. There's three three of them. They just poke their little heads out. Well, I think that maybe we had to go before something bigger comes. But but they're so cute. They are. And if they're anything like things that are in the Underdark, they don't stay cute once they get big. And they look like, like cubs, like bear. Wait, which cubs? kind of cubs? No, like little uh, lion cubs, kind of. Like, like little jaguar lion cubs. cubs. 
Give me a little kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm, I'm a yeah, kitty no, too. No, let's. She's no. gonna grab, uh, yeah. grab uh, Willow by the scruff and just. Nope, nope. We don't wanna. <laughs> we don't wanna see whatever's back there. Uh, but, but come on, yo, kitties, yo. Give me a animal handling check. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, twenty three. Okay, um, so as you're doing that, you're, you may be holding a little piece of the food that you guys were cooking. One of the cubs come to you. Oh, I'm going to call you Binks 2. <laughs> if you're named Binks, you won't die, but everybody around you will. Oh, it's okay. Your siblings are going to perish. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take it back with me if Zelstri's dragging me back. And it's curled Not up. with the cub in her hand. Oh. Zelstri, I have a Binks, too. Do you want to pet her? I think she's going to do that, like, slowly back away, like, hands out in front. I think I'm good. You do your thing. I'm going to not get eaten by whatever those turn into when they're big. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry her back, and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna snuggle you, and I'm gonna <laughs> love you. <laughs> I'm gonna love you, and hug you, and call you George. Snuggles! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so no, it's purring, and, and you get it to curl up and fall asleep. And the rest of your little shift goes off without warning, or issue. Second shift. We're gonna do three. If uh, if I've been down for four hours, I'll I'll get up. It's been about four. That's fine. Okay, yeah. So I'll I'll start to kind of roll around and, and sit up and. Binks, guess what? Uh, what? I found a cat, and I thought Binks was a cute cat name, so I named it Binks too. Why? What? 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 Why? Why? <laughs> and I think there's more over there if you want a little Binks three. No, I had a I had a cat. On this uh -huh. island already. Oh, you did? Yeah. What happened to it? It. <laughs> uh, we kind of had to leave it. We abandoned it. In the port. <laughs> you abandoned it's, it's your not, Princess sorry, Pennington. It is not the most proud moments of mine. But we were kind of you, making a midnight getaway. I am ashamed, was there. ashamed of you. For it's, shame. It's a, it's a alley cat. It'll survive on scraps. It's it's fine. If That's I, what I people said about me too. And you're here, and somebody here picked you go. up. Um. But okay, I'm going I, to bed. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Good. Are you going to sleep with said Binks? Yeah. Two. Sorry. Binks I'll two. Be clear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, so, who's up with me? Um, I'm gonna say Artis is gonna stay up. Alright. Uh, uh oh. <clears throat> um. Anybody else? Um, I haven't had my full eight, so I can't. Okay. Yeah, Victor. He's Victor is out. He yeah, Victor's pretty... gonna take all all three yeah, shifts he, off. He was pretty beaten. Um. So I'm gonna kind of just sit awkwardly in silence not really engaging too much so you live out here um, no I'm I'm from um, Boulders Gate it's a nice city beautiful uh, I guess if you have the means to live well it's beautiful Oh, were you one of them kids? <laughs> I know um, you're kind. And he kind of clutches his stuff a little bit tighter. That Ooh. was... Shit. <laughs> that was a time in my life, yes, but... Um, and it was never for fun. It was... For survival. When you have... 15 to 20 kids around that need food and no parent or adult to provide it you find ways that's fair we've all done things that we 
you know, we regret. So, I mean, it's just, it's life. You live and you learn. That's, old wise man told me that. I think that's why I'm still here. <clears throat> so what, what, I mean, what, are, are you only in this for the money or is there some other motive behind wanting to end this blight that's happening? Um, I mean, it, it would be nice to be able to move beyond my station in life and have means and, and be seen as reputable in the eyes of people who make decisions. Well, good uh, on you. I don't, I don't want to be a Harper boy my whole life. I mean, I'll always be at heart a harbor boy, but that doesn't mean I have to live like one. It's fair. And he's just going to kind of look down, you know, kind of into his hands a little, little bit and, you know, twir twirl around his rings, kind of take them off, put them back on. So, what, what are the Harpers? Like, you said they're kind of the peacekeepers or the uh, the bounds well they're their organization of information How about that information seekers or givers uh, seekers for the most part we uh we know things and give me a perception check too do you know Ooh. that's my fifth natural 20 tonight Ooh. Not when they count, though. But I know. We <laughs> Never on us, investigation. Uh, okay. Um, you hear some rustling in the back as well. I assume you hear that back there. Uh, yeah, probably just some, you know, something digging for some scraps or something. It's just best be be quiet. Does and let it, it pass? Does it? It sounds small, or does it sound threatening? Anyway. Um, no, it just sounds like wood, like, if something were moving the cart, not, like, in a okay. big manner, uh, but enough to shake it and hear wood kind of clink against it itself. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that noise. It doesn't seem big enough to cause us to wake the party. Um, so you, you've, you've been to Boulder's Gate? Well, I've traveled, you know, my fair share of places. So you're, you, why are you here? Were you sent by the Harpers to find this? Well, Saltmonger. I mean, yes and no. Um, I've parted ways with the Harpers, and I've been protecting a secret that will probably be the death of me but it is for the greater good the greater good <laughs> um that's, yeah that's not something uh you want to die with i guess is are those secrets i mean it happens right yeah do it to protect the world protect everything that we have just like we're we're here today yeah. So, you know anything about these last three keys other than the uh, the mascot that is attached to them? Other than it's going to probably be a pain in our ass? No, I don't. Okay, well, despite our outward appearance when you found us, we were a pretty good group of, of adventurers and, and fighters. We've been battle tested quite a few times and for the most part come out on the winning side so I think I think we're in good company with everybody and we should be able to to take care of this and come out on the other side uh, I would probably agree with you probably probably well I mean if it's anything like we've seen in these temples it's only gonna get harder from here I, I don't think 
this island would have it any other way. We've only seen difficulties. So, knowing that going in, I think we're one step ahead of anybody else. If, if you don't mind, I'm going to kind of just be by myself for a little bit. Well, that, sure. I mean, that's fine. And he kind of goes back to just, you know, pulling on and off. You know, it just rings on his fingers and just kind of... It's not like a nervous twitch. It's just more maybe of like a uh, security security blanket. Duly noted. Passes without issue. Um, okay, third... I'll stay up. Okay. Uh, um, is that four hours? We're, yeah, we're saying one is four hours. Okay, then Zelstri will get up too. Okay. Anybody else? Um, no, I think I'm going to stay asleep. Okay. So it's Binks and uh, Zel Zel's tree. Uh, perception checks to start off the shift, please. Here comes the one. Here's the one. I called it. Oh! That, that's a 20 from Zillstree. I rolled a one. You did call it. That's amazing. I did. <laughs> it's It's been... Kismet. <laughs> only... Yeah. Don't talk shit on Nolan T, okay? This is what happens. <laughs> it fucks with your dice rolls. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking with us right now. Um, I okay. heard you might be going to fantasy grounds. Motherfucker. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so, Zelstray, despite you leaving and kind of abandoning us for a little bit, we are happy to have you back. And uh, you're just a, a welcome sight out there on the battlefield well we haven't been together for too, too long but it is it's good to be back with y'all and hopefully get this thing figured out yeah it's just I mean the more people we have on our side the better and I I, I know you've we've told you and you probably don't want to hear it but the only side of your brother that we we knew was was a decent side. He he helped us get a foothold in Port Nine Zaru in the arena, and he he gave his life uh, saving ours. So for what that's worth, that's what we know of him, and it's hard to see him any other way. Well, if you want to want to know the truth, I think he was probably manipulating you some way to, to get in good with your good graces and then potentially find someone to stab you in the back once you uh -huh. weren't useful anymore. At least that's what I found when he tried to stab me in the back as just Rena and I were leaving. So I beat him to it. Well, I guess I'm, I'm grateful that we didn't see that side. We can just have the uh, the side of silver that we we do know. Zelstri, as you're talking, you hear um, from that same back area that you visited earlier in the night a much larger growl. <laughs> Here we go! Damn you! Here we go! Is it, is it coming closer? And is it possible to to? wake up Willow enough, just enough so that she can put the cat back. <laughs> so we don't want to keep it. We can wrestle it from her arms. It is starting to come closer. And you can wake up Willow if you'd like. It's up I, to her I if she wants to give the cat back. I will wake up Willow. Willow, the the mama cat's coming and I'm, I'm pretty sure she's going to murder us all if, if we don't give back the cub. It's not morning yet. I'm fully aware of that, hon. It's if you ever want to see a morning, we need to give that dang damn cat back. You're not taking Binks too from I'm me. Taking, I'm taking <laughs> Binks too. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my 
This is my Binks too. Do you, He's my do you want the original Binks to die? Because otherwise, that <laughs> not very well happen. It's I mean, Binks two is much cuter. That may be true, but it's time for Binks 2 to go back to his mom. He's, he's too young to be away from his mom. You need to give the damn cat back. And as you guys, <laughs> as you guys are arguing, you see the same thing that you saw before in the jungle and the same thing that you've seen in the reliefs on the monolith. A giant. So if everybody could put your tokens out here. Oh, and oh the tree. fuck me. Haven't we fought one of these before? Yes. Wait, I didn't see it. Did it come up? It's, it's on the uh, over here? right side of the temple, yeah. Oh, I guess I need to zoom in. Yeah, it's 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 a jaguar with fucking snakes growing out of its back. Oh, it's pretty that's amazing. What that's what you're cuddled up with right now. Hi, kitty, kitty. Oh, hi, kitty, kitty. I mean, kitty. technically, they don't grow their snakes for a while. So, guys, bye. I'm going to try to give baby back. Give, give the damn cat back. Okay. Before we're all cat food, please. I'm yeah. going to. Give the damn I'm cat back. Say, hi, Mama Kitty. I have your baby for you. Um, <laughs> I have your, your baby. <laughs> give. Yeah. And I'm going to, gonna, like, slowly start to, like, walk up to it and be like, it's a happy baby. What? It's what? a happy kitty. Like, and then I'm going to set her a little cat, kitty, kitten, kit, cub thing down. And I'm going to, like, pat its butt so it, like, heads towards its mom, like, go Binks, too. And as you're doing that, as you hit hey, the cat, <laughs> as you hit the damn cat, as you're doing that, no. you see a slightly bigger one pop up in a row. Oh, oh. Hi, Daddy here. Kitty. Dad's here. And so as the the cub this is fucking bad. Fall, follows <laughs> and leaves and goes to the mommy... These two kind of get up on their haunches and are ready to attack. So let's roll initiative. So that 11 was for Victon. Oh, and the 5 is for me. All right, so we'll start at the top of the order. Vinny. I mean, I'm going to die before I move. Vinny. All right. Um, you guys have like 13 party members. You will probably be fine. So... Was I still asleep? Yes, you were. So I think you need to pass me unless somebody wakes me up. Okay. Uh, Victon, was Victon sleeping? Did we wake up Victon? Victon was sleeping. Victon was sleeping, because we were the two that were pretty beat up. Okay, Dragonbait was asleep. Will off good. Willow. Willow. I'm going to say... You idiot. Willow. <laughs> That's a movie quote. It's a movie quote, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> no, I didn't think... And Fitz, you guys face. aren't that mean. I'm going to... Can I... I'm going to... There's something. I'm going to do something. We need um, some battle music. We do. Okay. So, as an action... Being the wild beast or whatever, I can magically assume the shape of a beast that you've seen before twice per short rest. It's a CR level. Ooh. You can only be a CR level. Oh, half. Uh, so how about like a just a regular sure that's half. A regular what? You cut out? Just like a regular cougar. Like a cougar? Like an older lady? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you could probably do like a... I think it's pretty strict... So you can halves are apes, black bears, crocodile, giant goat, giant seahorse, giant wasp, a reef shark, a war horse. You could be a panther, which is a yeah, quarter. I'll be panther. Yeah, or a quarter. I'll, I'll turn into a panther. This is the first time I'm doing it, so. Okay, so. Oh, you could have been a dinosaur. Okay, so Ooh. here is a pterodactyl. Because. Ah. Uh, Keep thinking, like, because everything, everybody knows the cats love foreign cats showing up on their territory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say hey, so. Hey, man, didn't I know you in high school? <laughs> well, and then I want to purr like I'm friendly. Get like, out. <laughs> okay, so you assume the shape of a panther. Okay. If I remember correctly, you get all of the stats of the panther. I'll look it up in my trusty. 
if I need to. Okay. So you should be able to move that panther, by the way. Ooh. But um, it's it says that it's giving my action, or that would be my action. But can I like purr at them to like try to sound friendly? Like, do you know? Uh, uh, I don't know if I want to do it. animal handling or persuasion. Do animal handling. Animal handling. Okie dokie. 23. 23. Okay. So, as you do, like Teens? quickly shape into this panther, um, which also, just so everybody else knows, is the first time you've all seen it. Um, mm-hmm. And you just see her kind of like lean forward, and, and as she turns, the panther shape just. You know, like the skin starts to get replaced with the fur of the panther. They are not looking at you any longer. Just me? Not looking at you any longer. Okay. Um, Commandant One is. uh, If it attacks, I'm going to warding flare. Just throwing that out there. I'm trying to think, because these things are gigantic. This thing is going to jump over to here. In between everybody. And it's going to swipe at you, Binks, because you're awake. Yeah, so I'm going to warding flare so, like, a piece of his armor just flashes super bright so it has disadvantage on the attack. Okay. Um, I imagine I'm like, ah, what the fuck is that? And it, so, pop warding flare up for me, if you would. Pop it. How long does it last? Pop it like a tie. Uh, it's just a reaction. And it, that's all it is. Does it last, so it has a multi-attack. Is it one attack or the whole turn? Yeah, just, the, just the one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, Binks is going to jump over, um, pretty much landing on Victim. So, he's going to be awake at this point. And it's going to bite at you, which would be a 14. Miss. And then it's going to take a snake bite for 17. Uh, that's a hit. Okay. So, go ahead and roll a constitution save for me. Come on, baby. 24. So you're going to take 18 points of damage, 8 piercing, 10 poison. God damn. Woo! Okay. Zell Street. Zombie. Well, now that they're attacking us, I'm just going to pull out my short sword and swing at the one that's right in front of me. (sighs) Okay. That's a 10. 10 does not hit. Okay. But I look really intimidating when I do it. You look cool. You look badass. Okay. Uh, Anything else? Uh, at, At this point... No. Okay. I don't think there's anything I can do. Okay. Binks, you have one on the other side of you and you have one below you. Yeah, so the one that attacked me, I'm going to unsheathe my UNT great scimitar and I'm going to start swinging for some of these snakes that okay. are kind of flailing around there. Uh, that's an 11. 11 does not hit. Okay, second attack. That's an 18. It does hit. Okay, that's seventeen slashing. Which which one was it? Sa- bottom or top? Sorry. Uh, which? What do you mean? Which one were you attacking? Bottom. Oh, uh, yeah, the one that, the one that attacked me. Okay. I, I assume that one. Okay. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Part. Yeah, I rolled a seven and a six. Yeah. Okay. So seventeen slashing damage. Okay. And that's not magic damage, by the way. Right. 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 It's not a magic attack. Right. Okay. Um. Ooh. And are they both engaged with me? They, yes. Fuck. Okay, uh, I'm kind of like kneeling down, not like going prone or anything, but just like getting in an athletic stance. Just kind of looking out, uh, head on a swivel kind of thing. Okay. Um, okay, so this one up here is going to cast Sleep Breath. Who is it? 
So Good every thing I'm already asleep. <laughs> That's not everybody a within thirty feet of a cone. I think that's gonna be me. I think it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna it's be everybody. Gonna be everybody. Me. So everybody who's asleep, you can roll with disadvantage on the Constitution save. Everybody who's awake, just go ahead and roll straight. All right, so I'm gonna roll. Is Victon awake now? Victon is awake. Yes. Okay. All right. So here's Victon's. I rolled a nine. Did Did anybody wake up, Vinny? Nobody has woken anybody up yet. Which I'm uh, kind of laughing at. No. Yeah, I didn't yeah, use I a free action to say anything. I'm, I'm so fucking asleep. That 10 is for Victon. And it's constitution, okay. Um, fuck. That 6 is for me. Jesus. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Um, shit, I gotta This roll. is the most disappointing TPK ever. I just want to say. I think it's the most interesting. Dragon We're all just fucking asleep. Man, I'm, oh my we god. In our and it all, it all happened. It all happened because... It's all Willow's fault. <laughs> uh, Zaka's still asleep, so that's disadvantage. Oh, jeez. So that's one, two, three, four critical fails on these. Oh, jeez. Thank you, Roll20. Everybody is unconscious. <laughs> Every single person... Failed their goddamn no way. Okay, <laughs> they go home. Wait, what about what about artists and Art, rolled and... a so dragon bait rolled a one. Artist okay. rolled a oh. five. Uh, Azaka's asleep, so she has disadvantage. She rolled a one. Moaxinare was asleep, oh so she has disadvantage. She rolled a three. Uh, Guys. The, We're unconscious for ten minutes. Somebody pray to Nolan T really quick. It oh. the effect ends if we get attacked though, if we take damage. So Just Yeah, we're saying. all gonna get ripped to shreds before we even wake up. Oh <laughs> Alright, DM. <laughs> Alright. Let's okay. do this. So Commandant is gonna continue hitting you, Binks. Oh shite. Would this be with advantage because I'm yes. unconscious? Okay. 19. Uh, that's a, a hit and a hit. Okay, so first one is four piercing. Second one, go ahead and give me a constitution save. Okay, so four total off right now. Let me get that taken care of. And then a constitution save. So okay. 17. So then... I mean, it saves either way. If I had disadvantage, it still saves. No, Nate, no, no, yeah, it's just straight save. Uh, sorry, I'm doing math in my head. Another 18 points of damage, 14 poison, 4 piercing. 18 total? And you are now awake. Okay, sleep, sleep, sleep. Binks. Fucking bad. Alright, I am using my second wind. I slap myself across the face, and... Uh, the chat wants me to kill you all, by the way. I know they do. <laughs> <laughs> kill them all! <laughs> um, Don't one, listen to him! <laughs> Just start Dragon Heist that much sooner, I guess. Yeah, Dragon Heist, guys. Dragon Heist. We were so uh, close. So... You know I that conversation we had by the fire last night? About us being the best chance? Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is it! This is the best chance for... This is like... <laughs> That's what we get for believing in ourselves. <laughs> Just <laughs> like <laughs> when uh, Vox Machina said that we're practically gods and they all got their asses kicked uh, in the first campaign. So I second win, slap myself across the face. I gained 10 hit points. I kind of start shaking it off. Um, so Azaka is next to me. I used my bonus action. I am going to use... My action to wake up Azaka. Okay. Um, yeah, wake up Azaka, and then I'm going to action surge attack the Commandant to the, the bottom one with okay. the UNT Great Cement. So, yeah, you kick Azaka pretty hard, and she kind of. Whoa, what, what happened? Uh, 11. Does not hit. And a 13. God. 13, damn. 13, 13, 13. Hits. Roll damage, please. Oh, shoot. Sure. Uh, 14 slashing. Okay, so yeah, you take another slice of this thing, and uh, you, know, you catch it right in the shoulder, the snake falls off. 
Uh, Commandant up here, he's gonna he's gonna stick with you, Binks. Fight snakes. Um, both of those and hit. Yeah, both of those hit. I'm going down. Guys. Save. Sixteen. So ten, no eleven on the poison for piercing. So fifteen plus five, twenty total points of damage. Good thing I healed myself. Nice. Okay. I'm not doing too good, guys. Okay, so all the way back to Izaka. She is going to uh, squeeze over here and kick Vinny as one attack. Um, so Vinny, you are now awake. Uh, uh, what? What? What's the fucking problem? Get up, and then she's going to just scimitar this guy down here for nine. Oh, Come with me if hell. you want to live. Who touched the goddamn cat? <laughs> Who do you think? Um, <laughs> this one, I'm gonna stick with you, Binks. Bite, 12. I uh, miss, Next. and that's a hit. Constitution save, please. God damn it. How, of course it's a bigger eight. I'm dead. Okay, uh, 25 points of damage. Yeah, that's uh, enough to drop me. I'm down. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay here we go. Binks is dying because of Binks too. <laughs> Binks too. Uh, death save roll, please. Is it my turn already? Shit. Yeah. Uh, death save. Come I mean, on. You guys are unconscious for ten minutes. I'm unconscious. Unless... Yeah. Well, no, everybody else is unconscious for ten minutes unless they get woken up. Yeah. No, Theo asked in the chat. I'm... Oh yeah. Oh, and that's a fail on the death. Save. First fail. Um, this one's about gonna... ready. This one's actually I'm going to attack this. Zelstri. Uh, so bite snakes both with advantage. I'm assuming ten doesn't hit. Eighteen. The eighteen does. Okay. Uh, Constitution save. Please. Actually, actually, just a second. I need to. Okay. Uh, my armor class is all dipped. Yeah, sorry. My son is doing calisthenics to stay awake. So hits. Yeah, I think I've got a seventeen. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Uh, Constitution save, please. Oh, that hurts. This is 27 points of damage. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Vinny, you are up. Azaka is up. Zelstri is up. Binks is down. Okay. Am I in melee range with Ramadan? You are in melee range. Fuck. Alright, um, I'm gonna back away. And I'll take whatever comes. Uh, I'm gonna cast Slayer's Prey on it. And then I'm going to pull up my crossbow, take a shot on it. Okay. That misses. And I'm going to critically fail with a one. Roll a uh, d20, please. Oh, shit. That's a 13. Okay. Yeah, hey, you're good. Um, okay. Uh, anything else? I'm going to yeah, take a second that. shot. Do I get to take my second shot on a fail? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll take my second shot. That's a 29! Ooh, that does Yay. hit good, sir. All 14 points place. of damage. Okay. Um, do I... Oh, no, first time I attack. No, we're good. Yep, that's it. Victon, sleep, Fresh sleep, sleep. He, yeah, he's Azaka. A Azaka <laughs> is going to come here and um, smack uh, Moaxinari and Dragon Bait. So those two are now up. And she's going to taunt this thing and just start yelling at it. I'm over here, you son of a bitch! Um, okay. So, Commandant up beer gonna bite snakes. Uh, Azaka, so that does hit on one. Of course, the snakes actually doesn't hit where she could take Ooh, it off. Finally. Um, okay. So, Mawaxanari is going to see what the hell's going on and you down binks uh come on baby i love you she's going to cast <laughs> healing word you. on you at first level so you're up with four hit points yeah uh zell's zell's tree i'm gonna cast yeah we're gonna just do scorching ray okay All that hits um, cast that three times so the bottom two do not hit. The first one does hit. 
Okay. Um. So that's a six damage to. We'll just. If I can do this one that's right next to me. Okay. That's all I'm gonna do. For now. Okay. Binks, you are back up, good sir, with four hit points. All right. Uh, bonus action to take my give myself a healing potion. Ooh, yes, five more. Five, five points, please. Okay. Uh, action. Um, okay, so I am going to. Uh, can it, so if I use my longbow against this one, the one to the bottom, it's, it'll be disadvantage. Yes, it is in melee with you. Okay. I feel like that's the thing I can do. How is it looking? It's looking very hurt. Okay, so, uh, fuck it, then, if it's looking pretty bad. Uh, you on T, two. 11 and a 26. Hit. Bottom hit. That's six slashing. Okay. So, yeah, so you I rolled two ones on the D8s there. <laughs> Off to a good start. Okay. Um, Stop. This Stop. one, after you hit it, uh, Zell Street's going to bite, and then it's going to attack there. Both of those miss. <sighs> Lucky there. Uh, Simber's still asleep. Vinny. All right. Um, bonus action cast Hunter's Mark on the Commandant near me. Okay. And I'm going to take my first shot off my head the crossbow. Come on, baby. Come on. That's a 21. <laughs> that hits. Yeah. Bring in the pain. Okay. That's 14 plus 3 plus 5. That's 8. That's 22. How do you want that one to die? Oh, thank you. Um, seeing it kind of backing the rest of the party into the group, uh, I'm going to take a really good shot and try and catch it in its lung, like underneath its, its front paw. And I'm going to be like, you're my motherfucker. And I'm going to take the shot. And as it does that, it does it, it tries to take that step forward to lunge and make the attack, and then just <laughs> straight down on the ground. Inch uh, to kill. Inch to kill. Dead. Um, so I'd like, I'd like to use my movement to get to here, and I'd like to take my second shot at uh, the other Commandant. Okay. Ooh, 12, 12 does not hit. Okay. Victim's still asleep. <laughs> Can uh, I bonus action fucking kick him awake? Fosin. I I, well, I already used my bonus action. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think unfortunately in this case you're you're kind of full on what you did. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um. So, but Dragon Bait is awake, and he he kind of hops the fence and comes around to the outside, and he's gonna just two hand longsword this thing, and uh, just come across the top. Slicing, slicing big chunk of flesh straight out of like the shoulder of this thing that the meat. Um, and he's gonna do it again, actually. He gets uh, two attacks for 25. Okay, uh, <laughs> Willow's still asleep. Azaka's gonna come down here and kick Victon. He's awake. She's gonna come up here and kick Willow. <laughs> She's awake. Uh, Nari is going to cast uh, Prayer of Healing at uh -huh. second level. So, which I believe that's six people. Uh, Zelstri Binks. So, seven points of healing to uh, Zelstri and to Binks. Thank you. Okay, uh, Zelstri. I'm just gonna. How's the one above me looking? Uh, it's looking pretty bad off right now. Okay, then I'm just gonna try to slash it up. Slash it up. Uh, a ten <laughs> does not hit. Yeah. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do though. Okay. Okay. Uh, Binks. All right, I'm going. You said it's looking bad. It's looking pretty bad. All right, I'm going to yeah, like turn around. And starts hacking at it. Kill the druid. I was, I was going to run, but Binks ain't no. Okay, that ain't hits. No it's a 14 slashing damage. Okay. And then second attack, a 12. Dang it, that's not gonna hit. Does not hit. Uh, Commandant 
Uh, I am going to wording flare its snakes. It's actually going to take off running. It's just going to leave its babies behind? It is, sorry, it'll pick up its baby in its mouth and start running. Uh, Simber's still asleep. <laughs> we ne we never woke up Simber. Probably <laughs> the strongest guy in the battle. Uh, that's actually Dragon Bait. Oh, alright. Okay, Vinny. Your turn. Um, Vinny, don't let that thing get away. Yeah, I'm on it. Um, can I take off uh, to here and see if I can get a shot at it? Um, I'm going to say it's probably about half cover there, so it would be with disadvantage. I ignore half cover. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, so yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, I'm going to... I would like to bonus action Hunter's Market. Okay. And I will take uh, my shot. Okay, the hit. That's, that's an 18. That's 11 plus 4. Okay. How do you want to do this? Uh, again, uh, this thing is like... You it, know, jumping through the brush. So I'm going to say this thing is like... Cow like protecting its cubs right there and it, it's as defensive as can be over its little hole. Okay. So it's like standing there snarling at me with its hair raised on its back. Uh, Vinny's just gonna sigh, aim the crossbow and uh, again shoot it in a long go for an insta kill. Okay. And it, and as it's just like ah! and it just like hits and falls forward. Dead. I'll yell back to the party. Uh, it's all right. I took care of it. <laughs> Dragon bait walks over and wakes up Simber. <sighs> what, what the hell? What the hell happened? Um. Well, I'd like to know the same thing. I was asleep. Who was on watch? Uh, yeah, who was on watch? I'm That's still that. a panther. That would be Zelstra and I. Yeah, that, that was us. And I did not see you change. Seeing a panther just sitting there, I'm going to raise my crossbow out and be like, The fuck? Do you see that? Uh, a this is panther a, right there. It's, it's Willow. It's, she can change like Asaka. Ah, wonderful. Yeah. Um, can, do you, does she understand common? Wait, wait. What do you mean Azaka can change too? Yeah, she doesn't. She's she's different. She's not like that. Well, they're like druid shape, or they can one with the animals. I don't. I don't know. Azaka's gonna become like very small in the back and kind of like try and draw no attention. Like, oh. I mean that that's not the point. The point is is. Yeah, I noticed that. That thing came to our camp for a reason. Uh, you would probably notice it because you're looking into the party. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Yes. Well, right now it did leave some cubs. Maybe it's. Maybe we should go do something about that. I don't. All right. I'll take care of it. No, not that we'll kind of take care. I like yeah. jump in front of him and I like wow, like. Like a panther would. Oh, you should I, do it as I, best you can. Time to fuck on now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, these 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 fangs will as good as dead without the pounds. Yeah, I'm painfully aware of that, which is why it's really gonna hurt to say this next phrase. Maybe we should adopt them. No, and I purr. No, I no, purr. No. And then I go like, you know how against. I go rub against Zell Street. And Vinny, before you say anything about evil creatures growing up to be evil, I want you to look me in the square in the face and say it. What do you want me to say? <laughs> that, yes, Zell Street, I think you're right. We have to strangely adopt these bizarre, okay. bizarre so creatures. I already feel like a little bit of a wet nurse, okay? Uh, being being out here, um, I don't want to be the dog walker too. I'm sorry, the cat walker too. Um, oh no! Don't get me wrong. 
Look, these things. Uh, are... Miss Miss Willow here is going to uh, be be the new cat mommy. Okay. We're just going to be the aunts and uncles. All right. Um. And I'm going to start to go towards where the okay. other. Hang on, Willow. Hang on. We're we're in the middle of a very dangerous place. These are young kittens. I'm not sure if you know what young kittens do, but they make a lot of noise indiscriminately and at the worst possible times. I mean, maybe that after whatever the hell those things did to us, maybe that wouldn't be the worst idea. I mean... And lately it hasn't seemed to make much of a difference with how stealthily we're able to sneak into places. Maybe so, having a local critter would be a little so, helpful. So let's let's make it worse on ourselves than we've already had it. Uh, all right. Look, I'm, gonna I'm going to change ba back into myself. Okay. So yeah, as you know, she's talking and rubbing on on Zelstri. She just like pops up into her human form. You know, somehow it wasn't creepy, and then you became <laughs> normal, and now that puts it in a very different light. I'm not sure that I appreciate that. I'm gonna, like, rub my shoulder on her, like, oh, you know you like it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna say, I, we're not leaving the kittens behind. They lost their parents, me, and we're going to take them with. How awful. <laughs> Oopsie. Or... Or we let nature do its thing. Um, well, the only reason they're parentless is because you interfered. I mean, oh, oh, I mean, exactly. I mean, That's why I need to take care of them. Na nature's full. I nature. shouldn't maybe have messed with them, but I thought their parents were gone. They were there. I I would say that gone. nature nature finds a way. Nature, nature, nature is nothing but but death and hard times, and I'm pretty good about handing out both of those. And I think we need to take care of this. No, I don't know what's possessed me, but for whatever reason, I feel we've got it. Oh. She pinches uh, herself. There's three of them. We've got to take the kittens with us. Oh, fuck. Hell. So, Fine. Stu, you're not so bad after I'm, all. So, so what are we going to do when this thing, start, this thing starts sprouting snakes? We're going to make it attack other things. We're going to train them, and they're going to be great. We don't even know how many there are. We just There might only be one. Okay. All right, listen. Whatever you want to do, I'm taking no responsibility for the cats. If okay, you, and I if, run off before he can, like, say, change his mind. As you're talking, I'm going to say, if they get in the way of my crossbow boat, it's not my problem. And I'm going to turn around and start uh, cutting up whichever commandant is closest to me and start making some breakfast. Okay, make a survival check. <laughs> We can even serve some to the kitties. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, Scott no, Tenderman. I will name one 11. Scott Tenderman. That's an 11. Okay, you did an okay job. The pelt isn't as nice as you would like it to be. I'm more in it for the, for the meat this time, for the food. You butcher it pretty well, I mean, but it's... It's edible. Okay. I'll get out my frying pan, make it fire, and start making breakfast. What's everybody else doing? I'll go, uh, I'll go walk over to Victon and just kind of make sure he's okay. Uh, he slept pretty hard last night and slept most of that battle, just making sure you're okay. I'm not going to have a conversation with <laughs> <laughs> me as Victon. I just, that's why I'm out. I'm off to the side a little bit. Okay. You see Victor nod and kind of... He's still beaten up pretty good from, you know, the frog hemoth and the traps and everything else. You guys 
you guys, once you have stepped foot in Omu, have really not had the chance to like regain your composure. It's been back to back to back nonsense. Um, so, Victon's feeling feeling the effects of that a little bit. I think, you know. Quick, strange side note: after we literally just finished our long rest, can we take a quick short rest? Um. While we're having breakfast. Yeah, I would give that. Yeah, I I want to roll some hit dice because I'm not too shiny. Um. So, qu question with the hit dice: you only get half back on a long rest. I yes. believe so. Half of how many you have gone? Yes. I can't remember. Because I was tapped. So you get three back. Yeah, three of my six. Okay. How far down are you? Um, uh, I'm pretty far down. Um, I mean, I was. I have. I can pop a healing spell to, to bring you back up a decent ways. It was just, if I don't have to, then... It's the start, no, of, the start of a day. Start of I'll roll day. with my head dice. Don't, don't take those. Um, I'm going to go get that one kitten, and then I want to go see if there's any other. Okay. So yeah, as you go back there... Um, where you see the the commandon back here uh, is kind of like laying over um, its hole. So it has a little den underneath the cart. And you see him kind of laying in the front of it. Do you want to try and move it? Yeah. So you... What's your strength? Um, Zelstri will probably also come over and help. Thirteen. Okay. Um. Yeah. So give me a give me a strength check because these are these are large animals. A strength check. With advantage of Zelstri's helping. Strength. Do I just click that one? Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah, you both just kind of grab this thing by the tail and just pull it out of the hole. And as you kind of bring the hole out uh, and open, you see three cubs. Three additional cubs, total. or three all together? Three total. total. I hope you have a plan because mine ended at convincing Victor not, or Vinny not to put them out of our misery. I mean, Vinny deep down inside has a cute little kitten, so he just he just has to get used to them. I'll name one Vinny too. It's fine. He'll love it. And Binks too comes up to you right away. <laughs> the other two are a little hesitant. <laughs> I'm so sorry about your mommy and daddy, but we're gonna take great care of you. And I like hand one to Zelstri, and then I pick up the other two and head back toward camp. Give me an animal handling for the third. And Zelstri, uh -oh. you as well. Eleven? <laughs> they're pretty resistant in your guys' arms. And they're like just trying to get away, not really understanding what's happening. I'm gonna sing it a song to try to calm it down. I'm gonna sing it. Soft kitty warm kitty. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Little ball of fur. <laughs> well played. That's okay. all I'm gonna do. If, if it works, Zelstri will start to do the same, but <laughs> I'm not going to sing it because we don't want to lose whatever viewers we have. <laughs> okay. And that's where we're going to end for tonight. We don't even get to go inside. Yeah, the fuck with the cat. Oh, sorry. I didn't... How dare you have a heart? It was worth it. We had some nice character moments tonight. Yeah. It was great. It was good. It was great. Yeah, it was good. So everybody in the Twitch chat, thank you for hanging out with us. We got a new follower yes. today. We got a new subscriber. It's awesome. So if you haven't yet and you're listening on podcasts, come follow us on Twitch at Billy Zed. That soon will change. So twitch.tv slash Billy Zed. Uh, if you are listening on Twitch, go to our YouTube if you missed some of our content. It's Dad Bod D and D. Uh, if you want to hear us on the road while you're driving and don't have access to Twitch or YouTube. Follow us on podcasts where we get your podcasts. iTunes is a great spot. Um, 
Just a dad bod D&D. And then, uh, so from there, uh, if you guys want, you can hit uh, exclamation point Discord in the Twitch chat, and you will get our Discord channel where we are very active and talking with each other. And, you know, we talk about a lot of nonsense, a lot of good stuff, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, so follow us there. Twitter is DN underscore dad. So again, everybody, thank you for joining us. Um, I hope we all can make everything a better place because we're in a shit show um so tune in next time there's gonna be hey a little, there's gonna be a little change possibly next week we may be on mixer for next week only i will be out so we'll be investigating that uh but follow our twitter and we will post our information there as best as possible are we ordering yeah. a new bruise then next week probably Okay. Yeah. yeah, and the baby says it, so we are out. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye. Bye.